Hope you're doing marvelously well. We're here at the Focus Right booth at NAM 2016. 2016. Does that sound good? The that sounds great. Well, maybe it's NAM. 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 Like Nam. Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay. Anyway, so here we are. It's been a great day. It's the first day here. We've done a lot of stuff. Um, this is Casey from Focus Right. How are Hi, you, mate? Hi, everybody. I'm doing great. Wonderful. They, Casey and Focus Right, have very kindly given us this lovely thing to give away. Now, those of you that know or don't know, uh, we use the Focusrite stuff a lot ourselves. We had a little 2i2, which is the little baby one here, and I take that out on location. Sure. I use it with my laptop, I've recorded with it, it's always been great. The only problem with it is, and we know this, is it has a little bit of a latency issue. So what you do on the 2i2 is you would stick it to input monitor so you monitor straight off the input. Now, Focusrite have created this. And this is the clout range, and this doesn't have that latency issue. No, does not. And it's pretty fantastic. And Casey and Focus Right have very kindly given one of these to give away for our raffle. So as usual, go to the email address, go to the email on Produce Like a Pro. Sign up. You're going to get all the information of how to enter the raffle. You're going to go to their site, like everything, send an email link, all of that fun stuff, and you'll get a chance to win one of these. So here's the new Claret. What can you tell us about it beyond the stuff I was just spursing. Well, the stuff, that was a great segue. So the stuff <laughs> you were talking about just now, where you were talking about latency and some yeah. of the USB devices, since it's a Thunderbolt connection, we actually have sub -mill two millisecond round trip latency. That means from your recording yeah. to the device and back to what you're hearing with no latency issues. So that means you can actually track through right. a plug-in in real time into your right. DAW and not have any problems with doubling or hearing or, right. or any offsets going into your timeline. So that's really great. Um, besides that, in the, the box itself, we actually have brand new Focusrite mic crease that have our ISA technology built directly into them. So what that means is our ISA range, um, which are known for being transformer-based mic crease, um, we've actually done a physical model inside the units that actually gives you the open air, airy feeling to get from utilizing one of these models. You can engage that or disengage that of a new Focusrite mic Quick dumb question. So, um, the ISA, are those from the original consoles that Rupert made? They are from the original consoles that Rupert made. We just, uh, we were just over the Lewitt booth. If you go, just, just round the hair. Right. If you go there, there is, we shot a video using Lewitt mics all through the original console at United Recorders. Awesome. And that I will tell incredible. you, those mic breeds are amazing. They are amazing. Yeah, yeah. They only made 10 consoles? 10 consoles, yeah. um, I believe out of those, there are a handful that are six, still in six, use. Six, five, six, six, seven. Yeah. There's actually a really cool uh, a documentary on our Focus yeah. Right TV that actually shows I watched where it. the history of I'm, the other consoles are. Today. I'm a geek, I watched it. It's That's good. Awesome. It's a great, great video. It's a great, it's a great one. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. They go to Japan, they go to United, United. they talk about yeah, it. Yeah, there's. So it's great. So basically, you're taking those pre's and modded or whatever, well, but they're in there. Brand new pre's brand that new pre's. actually have the ability to model the ISAs. Right. So you can have the ability to actually engage it or disengage it if you prefer a nice clean right. straight mic signal. Or if you have, it's actually the function that we're calling air, air on the front there. So you actually access that through our, our control panel. It's a very simple switch that looks like this. Oh, nice. So the air functions here, I can engage it or disengage it. On right. whatever mic crease that I would like to have it on. I love it. I just was telling Lewitt what I love about what they've done. They've got a new mic where it's controllable via a plug-in. Um, there's different people bringing out stuff. I, to me, it's like trying to stay with the cutting edge companies. First of all, the 2i2 is revolutionary. There were so many people I know, guys that watch our show that have 2i2s that are making music. 100%. And the fact that you guys so, are moving, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's the biggest selling interface, it probably the is. The number one best selling USB interface in America yeah. for the past three years. I believe it, because so many people talk to me about it. So the fact you brought this out is great. The fact that you're modeling that and more importantly, I, I like the fact that you're embracing this world because I feel like, I've been saying this all day, the film world is like 10 years ahead of us. In the music world, we're all stuck in like this, this place where the film world has got over. They use digital cameras on everything now, and then they come in, they, they simulate and they do stuff. So basically to have a product that's great, that you can control on your screen, and it's not like Luddite and old fashioned feeling is great. So I really appreciate that. Yeah. So wait, what's the maximum sample rate this has got up to? Uh, the actual, the, the bit range is 24-bit, 182 frequency range, dynamic yeah. range of uh, 118 dB. So right. it's right up there with whatever you can, the best sounding Thunder Bay interfaces on the market today. Right. And in my personal opinion, we sound the best. So. Really, really great. I love this functionality. So what else you got going on? Tell us more while we're here. So on the, back onto the 2Pre, 
Yep. One of the cool things that I like to point people's direction to is, if you take a look at the chassis on the outside, the industrial design that went into it, you'll notice that there's no screws on it. Oh yeah, nice. Nice, clean. So idiots like me can't take it apart. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually looking for a more sleek, classy look, but if that's what you want to say, sure, absolutely. Yeah, I know. When I, when I was a kid, I'd take everything apart and then not be able to put it back together again. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you take a look at the encoders as well, if you really grab a hold of them and feel them, you'll yep. see that they feel really great in your hands. You know you're holding a professional quality interface. Nice. Yeah. It's designed in England. Designed yeah. in England. Just say. <laughs> I was designed in England by Irish English people. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, it feels really nice. Great work. Feels nice, look nice. We're really pleased with it. So, um, so now we've got a whole range of claret. So we've got yep. the two pre, which you guys are giving away. We've yep. got the four pre that is in the case over there. We've got right. the eight pre here yep. and the eight pre X. Um, right. Price wise, they're really comparable from top to bottom. It's uh, four nine nine for the two pre, six nine nine for the four pre, nine 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 for the eight pre. Great. A3X is 1299. All right, I know a lot of people watch this aren't Apple guys. Sure. A lot of them are PC guys. What's the story of Thunderbolt? Is it going to become, become so universal? There are Thunderbolt computers that are available out there. We are currently making a, a driver that is going to be available to work on those uh, uh, PC computers. Um, it's in beta right now, and the beta is, is pretty stable. But right. we're, we're working to, you know, 100% make it a full candidate release and get it out there. But That's good, because a lot, a lot of people, that, you know, up-and-coming guys, they've got their PCs, they love the 2i2, sure. but of course they're not Thunderbolt people. So yeah. if you guys are working on that, I appreciate it. I know we'll get a lot of questions. Right about. around the corner, so. One, wonderful. So you got the 8 here. 8 Pre-X, right? And 8 Pre-X okay. Pre is the big guy over here. Yeah. Um, the main differences between the 8 Pre and the 8 Pre-X are um, you've got... Uh, dual ADAT optical inputs and outputs on this guy. And right. you also have a little bit more control from the front panel. This is made for yeah. studio installation. So you have your phase reversal, your phantom power per channel. Yeah. Um, you've got a, a high pass filter on the front as well. So it's, it's a really made for a, a set studio installation that you're not gonna be pointing in and out. You don't wanna reach to the back to have to do anything for it. You can access everything from the front of the unit right. itself. Dumb questions. Um, this I tracked drums with these. Uh -huh, the Octopri. Yeah, that was great. Sure. Um, the only thing I will say sometimes was the need for a pad. What do you got on those? You got, you got, is this really padded down where I it's, come down here? It's, it's excellent. It's, it's. Because you got, remember they used to, there was only, the first two Mike Priest had pads on them only on the Sapphire. Right. Well, the, these all have it now. Good. You, all, you can pad every, Good. any Mike Priest on these units have pads. So basically you've got a lot more dynamic range. Way more right? dynamic range. And great. another cool thing is, is on these as well is that it's a linear gain pot. Great. So um, it, it acts, when you're adding or subtracting gain, it acts in the way you expect it to for the Shop. dial position. So great. Um, on some of the Scarlets we had you know, on the, on the heavy side, and you got a lot of the gain was on the top end yeah. of it. Yeah. Still sounded great, but people weren't used to how it acted. Sure. So now we've got to, you know, got a little more traditional way where the linear gain is actually great. equal across the frequency, across the, the pot range. Wonderful, good. Well, I'm glad you guys got, so this is great. You're listening, you, you're making things better. We're trying. That's really, really We're cool. We're trying. So now, what else we got going on here? Of course, we got the ISA 430. ISA 430, the classic piece, um, compressor, uh, EQ. It's it's fantastic. Again, like we were talking about earlier, the ISA stuff is known, is known for a transformer-based uh, yeah. mic piece. So, and again, that feeds back into the air feature like we were saying before has a nice open end sheen on the top end of your high frequencies. Sounds fantastic, it's great. Um, ISA is, is, is a name that's, that's equated with quality all oh, over absolutely. the world. So we're, we're very pleased with, with I mean, how the line continues to, to live on and uh, aside the new products as well. I mean, this was Rupert's company, wasn't exactly. it? Exactly, so, there you yeah. go, founder. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. And that would be Rupert Neve. Rupert Neve. <laughs> now our, our, our owner is Phil Dutterich, who was actually the founder of Soundcraft. Which, I know. Yeah, so. That was great because he sold. For, I, I, I read about that years ago. He sold Soundcraft for a lot of money. Yeah. Could have retired to the Bahamas like most smart people would have done. Yeah. Instead, he decided to buy the company. From and Rupert just, and, and get going. And get going. luckily he did because we're all here today with all these great products. So. Yeah, no, it's yeah. fantastic. Uh -huh. That's the one thing about, look, guys like you and us outside of like talking about gear, we, we didn't get into music because we were like, wow, what a great career opportunity. I could no. become really wealthy. That is not the case no, at all. No, we got into this because we love this. 100%. And, and we, Phil Thutteries is a great example of that, like you said. You know, he could have sold off Soundcraft and gone out and been on a yacht all day for the rest of his life, but he didn't. You know, he in the back like, of his mind, he's probably thinking, why didn't I do that? 
<laughs> he's happy. He's a music lover. And he likes to get yeah. his hands dirty and being here, yeah. developing gear and making great products for all of us to use. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks ever so much. Yeah, I really thank appreciate you so it. much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So please subscribe. Go to the email list. Get a chance to win this. This is really fantastic. Great product. Thank you ever so much for watching.